welcome welcome the lord bless you wherever you are the topic we're going to consider today is important for everyone wherever you are if you are a human being on this planet then you have been hurt by somebody at one time or the other and you must have forgiven someone at one point or the other and um you may also have someone that has hurt you and you have not forgiven and you would like to i would like to share with you three secrets that you must know as a believer who is married and is going to be hurt by their spouse one time or the other so if you are a man right there your wife is going to hurt you or she might have done so i don't think it's possible for you to be married for more than a couple of months and not have had to forgive your your wife at one point or the other and if you're the wife you must have had the opportunity to forgive your husband all right and if you're meeting me for the very first time my name is ade sobanjo i'm so excited to have you here so happy to have you every person that comes to my channel i celebrate you you know choosing to f learn about marriage and how to improve it is something that must be celebrated for some reason we assume that because love is such a basic and fundamental emotion and we assume that everybody should have it should know it we we, we assume that we are all experts Birds when it comes to uh, loving and uh, marriage and connections but what I've discovered is that that's not the case so when I find people who are taking the time to develop the skills um, learn how to love properly learn how to repair relationships I always celebrate you so I celebrate you all my subscribers if you have been blessed by what we're doing here and you're not yet subscribed please do subscribe like the video share it with as many people as possible my goal is to impact as many believers as possible so that they can be more impactful uh, make more disciples for our Lord Jesus Christ and uh, bring love and joy and peace to all the corners of the earth and if you have not downloaded my friendship rebuilding cheat sheet i want you to go ahead now and do so my friendship rebuilding cheat sheet you can go to adisobanjo.com slash friends all you need to do is give me your email and i'll send you the friendship rebuilding cheat sheet it is a one-page pdf that gives you the exact steps that you need to take to rebuild friendship in your marriage of course it doesn't come alone it comes with a bonus video and that video will tell you what to do and the cheat sheet will remind you of those things now the three secrets about forgiveness to make forgiveness easy you know if you have ever been hurt and you find it hard to forgive these three secrets that i'm going to share with you will make it much easier to forgive and i pray that you just don't hear what i say but that what i say will become real to you i i my prayer is that the holy spirit will impress this truth on your heart just like he has done on my heart and and so anyone that's really been following me for a while would know how god thought taught me about forgiveness it it, it started i i learned forgiveness when i was a bit younger i was about 11 12 years old then and i lost my mom my mom was shot by armed robbers at a workplace and at that point i felt really devastated and i was angry at them and i really wished that i could grow up very quickly uh, get a gun and uh, and kill the people who killed my mom the uh, the anger was there and i was hurt and i was scared too it really traumatized my 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 spirit and from that point on, I started having 
nightmares and um and i really wanted all of that to pass it was a dark time but what god did to my heart is what i'm going to be sharing with you today and and i don't know i don't take i'm not going to take credit for this understanding i believe god just had mercy on me and opened my eyes to see how broken this man was now to make it worse while i was so angry at this guy he was um, arrested and he was shot and he died but i was still angry and i had not yet forgiven him but then the lord opened my eyes to see that he was so broken that the behavior uh, that he had was as a result of his brokenness and believe you me god used that truth to release me from the pain and the anguish and the and the trauma that i was going through okay so i want to share with you some scriptures that now came to life after i've experienced so my first the first touch was an experience of forgiveness where I felt so compassionate. I, 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 I had mercy and pity on the, the, the guy, not only him, everyone that he represented. So all M robbers, I began, I didn't feel the animosity and the anger that I had in my heart for them because God opened my eyes to see how uh, broken they were. In Matthew chapter 18, this scripture is very, very important. Is how Jesus dealt with the situation. And the question that the, the Peter the Apostle asked was, how often do I need to forgive? Because uh, people do offend me and you are teaching us to forgive. So how often? Okay. Some people are so so annoying. and uh, Or they just keep repeating the same problem in marriages. Maybe someone has uh, been unfaithful to you or has betrayed you has spoken ill of you before their parents, um, has um, hidden money from you, has um, hurt you, hit you, verbally abused you, physically abused you. Um, and so you are hurt, you, are, you feel very broken. And here the scripture is saying, here is what my, father, my heavenly father would do to you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart and i have seen a lot of believers who understand this verse 35 but do not understand what forgiveness is struggle a lot of believers struggle yeah so the first secret i want to share with you in is the is taken from this story which is the fact that when you forgive you're the one that benefits the most when you forgive you're the one that benefits the most. That's the first thing that you have to understand. You benefit in, in many ways. You benefit in many ways. The first thing that you benefit is you get to release another person. There's a joy that you get from releasing someone from your heart. The next benefit that I know for you when you forgive is that the stress, so the mind base that you would use to process your offense is released so you your mind is clearer and that impacts your health yes many studies have shown that a person who is angry and who get tensed in your stomach get tensed in your muscles when you think about what someone has done to you it affects your whole body and you release certain uh, chemicals into your system that hurts you so you get a lot of benefits when you release someone and you forgive them and it's more than that there's also the fact that when you forgive someone you open the door for that person to also learn and and be transformed by god spiritually you are setting them free to allow god to touch them and that these are all benefits to you because when you when you are part of the process of transformation in another person, it's a blessing. It comes back. It comes back. I have a whole training that I that's available if you want it. It's three days training um, on 
forgiveness. I call it the forgiveness clinic. Forgiveness clinic is a, is a course that would really help you go through all of the things that I've shared and will impact your life. I put the I'll put the link to it in the comments. And so if anybody wants to purchase purchase that um, course, you can do so. And uh, and you can also reach out to me to help you with that. Don't forget to like, to subscribe to the channel for more and to share this with those who you know would benefit from it. Feel free to engage. Say hello in the chat. Uh, ask questions or uh, let me know how you are processing what I'm sharing with you. It gives me more energy to share. Uh, tells me what you want, what you want me to share more about. And also gives, uh, I believe it gives the algorithm some information to send to others and recommend the videos to others. So you are not only engaging and blessing yourself, you're also using the opportunity to bless others. All right, so continue to love like Jesus and make mega impact. Bye for now.